Alrighty guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another painting update. So this week made a lot of progress. What you see in front of you is 24 uh, Perry pikemen done up as Newcastle white coats uh, for the English Civil War. This is uh, part of the eBay salvage buy. This was the high point of the buy. This is pretty much why I did that purchase. Um, it came with you know, I spent 100 USD and it came with 48 Perry Metal new in the wrapper miniatures. Um, in addition to all the Warlord stuff that you've seen me paint. And I'm, I'm through all the Warlord stuff. Uh, I have one cannon that was also part of that deal to paint up. But, uh, you know, a 40-man infantry regiment, 24-man unit commanded shot, and a 12-man cavalry unit and an artillery piece. That was all the Warlord stuff. And then I probably had about 12 to 16 pikemen and musketeers left over that I gave to Holy Diver. So $100 for that. Now, that drives the price of these guys. And these were brand new in the box, They uh, or in the wrapper. They didn't have the pikes. Uh, he didn't have pikes with them, so I had to buy pikes. Uh, for them, but uh, I mean you're essentially this is less than one USD per one of these metal miniatures so quite the deal there um, I actually really enjoyed painting these guys the Perry's are smaller than the warlord plastic stuff but they are better to paint the details better the sculpting's better um, the plastic warlord stuff it's really outdated um, the details really not great. Um, they're, they're they're not fun figures to paint. They're really, the, you know, the details kind of melted into the miniatures. It's it's not the best. These guys are good. The details good on them. There was cleanup on them. They are a little bit smaller, um, but they're fun to paint. And because they were more fun to paint, I added a little bit more. I did a little bit more quality to my work in them. Uh, you know, I did some highlights on the jackets and trousers as opposed to just the skin, which I was doing on the Warlord Plastics. So these guys pretty much have a highlight all the way around. I didn't do highlights on the metal, I just did a wash over them uh, on the armors. Uh, but yeah, I did enjoy painting these guys, and I, I essentially got these guys done in three days. Uh, I mean, we're looking at nine to ten hours total work for these 24 miniatures here. So we're looking at 30 minutes a miniature or less. Uh, it painted up really good. I'm really excited. This is probably the the fastest I've ever been able to paint up 24 miniatures. Normally, I can do about. Normally, I'll turn out about 12 a week. It seems to be pretty typical for me. 12, 12 to 18 a week. Um, so 24 is pretty good. Pretty good for me. Uh, we'll see here. We'll come in. All I got left to do on these guys is um, spearheads and sword handles. Oh, and the skin, and the final skin highlight. I usually save this final skin highlight for like the very last thing. But, yeah. Nothing in particular there. Just showing some. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, all white coats. Uh, did just a gray and a beige on, a mixture on the trousers there. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, but uh, they, they turned out really well. This is going to be a, there's 24 miniatures here, but this is going to be part of a 36-man unit. So I, I placed the Perry's order, and there's going to be a six-man command section and then another six-man uh, pike base that's going to go on this to make for a final 36. So this just leaves, I essentially just have an artillery piece and 24 other Perry miniatures to paint up, and then the army is going to be done until I get the Perry's order in because the other 24 is the first half to the 40-man regiment that I'm going to do. So I got the other 16 miniatures for that regiment coming, and then the other 12 for this unit coming, uh, and then enough to make a unit of cuirassiers, and then like some casualties and stuff like that. So all in all, pretty good. Crank these guys out. I'm really happy. If I can do another 24 plus the cannon, uh, by the end of the month, then I'll be really happy. That'll be my goal. That'll leave me with no Perry stuff, uh, with no ECW stuff to paint. I'll be completely out until the Perry's order arrives, in which case I'll probably uh, switch over and do uh, some Blitzkrieg Germans. I got, I got like uh, 24 metal guys ready to go 
and I'd like to get through those so that way I can draw that down that pile um, on those guys and then finish up the rest and then hopefully by the time that's done the Perry's order arrives from England and then I can finish out the ECW army for now I think once the Perry stuff gets here we're looking at like 260 miniatures for the army or maybe slightly more um, so essentially three 40-man pike and shot regiments 36-man pike unit 24-man commanded shot unit three 12 man units of cavalry a 16 man unit of storming party and then one artillery piece so great beginning to a ecw army in my opinion not the final form of this army i do plan on probably getting another 100 miniatures probably two or three more cavalry units and another 40 man regiment from bicorn and another artillery piece so that is that is the plan so we're realistically we're looking at 350 to 375 miniatures planned once the army is complete and at that point it's probably going to sit there that that's i don't see this army getting much bigger than that it's pretty it's a pretty good size army um i'll be able to do most wargaming scenarios i want to do my big goal is to be able to play through the campaign book to kill a king um, and so you need to have a good number of artillery. Holy Diver, you know, between the two of us, we'll be able to mix and match to get the forces we need to play that campaign book because uh, he essentially has, you know, a 250 man uh, parliamentary force, and then he has another 250 man Scott force. So we can pick and shoot, you know, we can pick those apart and form what we need um, from those armies. To, to, mit, to fit the scenarios. Hopefully between his 500 ECW miniatures and my 350, we'll have enough to pretty much do whatever campaign we want to do in there. So, or any of the battles in that campaign book. So, uh, yeah, so until then, uh, just a little update, uh, and hopefully you guys will be getting another one from me soon, but if not, keep on painting, and uh, enjoy your hobby time.